Now our next guest, Joe Ozier, Shay's Lounge. I got that, got it right this time, Joe. How are you? Hi, Chuck. Thanks, nice to man. have nice you to on. Uh, I want to, I want to tell you that uh, we've been talking back and forth about you getting you on the show, and then I'm over at Peeves Public House. I walk into their public market, and here is your book for sale. Yeah, isn't that great? It is cool. Is this your first book? This is my first book. And uh, speaking of Peeves, uh, this Saturday from noon to three. We're doing a buy a book, get a pint. Oh. So nice. come on by, get Wait, one of my books. It's a children's book, Joe. Yeah, that's right. It's a, <laughs> it's so that's it's right. buy a book, get a pint. That sounds like a great Yeah, yeah. And promotion, um, yeah. Yeah, it's it's that's our second promotion. I did another one um, about a month or so ago and it was a signing and I sold a few of the books and so this Saturday we're gonna do it again, but we're going to try to get some adults and in the room and come by and buy a buy a book and get a pint and uh, meet Peeve and me right. and um, I sign the book and it's all good. What, what did you tell me how you came about writing a children's book? Well, I I've actually uh, I've I've been involved in writing about dogs for a long time. I've actually written um, a two musicals about one dog. You've written a musical about a dog? Yeah, his name How is Shep. How come Shay. I've never heard of this? <laughs> his, the dog's name is Shep, and it's called Shep the Musical. And um, a couple of years back, I, I did that in Florida. For I did it over about a 10-year period. But um, in 2011, I did a, a, a shorter version of that and made it a Christmas story for a Toys for Tots fundraiser that I did at the Warner's Theater. So I had to rewrite some of the songs and shorten them up make it about an hour and 20 minutes. Um, but And that was called Shep's Christmas Week. Wait a minute, the musical was longer than an hour and 20 minutes to start? Oh, the first one was like two hours. It took you 10 years to write it. You were into 20, it. I was. I actually wrote like 24 songs, and I had to pay a guy to cut some of the scenes and some of the songs because I couldn't do it myself. I was way too involved in it. Is, is so. Shep the musical going to make it to the stage? Man, I hope so. Yeah. I, I surely do. I surely hope so. But So that was like the beginning of my um, uh, writing experience. I used to do uh, haikus and poems and stuff. And I also write songs to work with the musicals. But uh, this book was inspired by a dog that I adopted in Florida named Shay. I lived in Florida for 10 years and I was part of Florida. That's going to make a big difference Sarasota. to me right now. <laughs> you know you know Sarasota? Yeah, I do. Oh, well that's where I stayed. But in the Everglades. No, no, it's actually uh, it's about 60 miles south of Tampa. Uh, okay, so <laughs> the book about Shay is 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 it is it a heartwarming book? It's very heartwarming. It's a children's book. So the ages would be from like 3 to maybe 11 or 12. But it's a family book, and it's been written so that uh, the kids could read it to their family or the family could read it to their kids. But it's based on a true story about this dog that um, I adopted named Shay. And they, they told me at the adoption center that Shay was a runaway and she might be, you know, Little she squirrely. might have issues. Yeah. So that I had a month to return her if I didn't really, you know. If she didn't work out. She didn't work out. And so um, the, first, uh, the first day I had her, I, I had her and, you know, we had a great time. And um, I left her in the backyard, which might have been a mistake. But she, uh, when I went back to uh, visit her in the next morning, she was gone. And oh, so no. I went to drive around and look for her, and she ended up back at the shelter. Uh, one of the animal control officers picked her up, took her back, and... Um, I went back and adopt, got her, got her again, and brought her home. Did you have to adopt her again? No, no. But <laughs> she, uh, so I found out where she got through. She got through a hole in the fence, and so I fixed the hole in the fence and found others, and and um, then I figured that was good, and so I left her out again the next night, and she dug under the fence. So she was an escape artist, and she really had this. I gotta go, I gotta move, there's something over there I need to go and do. And so she felt that she needed to just keep moving. And um, so after several escapes and recaptures, she, she ended up coming back, which I thought was the most amazing thing because I had gone looking for her, I couldn't find her, I was depressed, I felt like I lost my dog. And I came home and there was Shay sitting on my lounge chair in the backyard waiting for me. 
And at that point, she never left again. And so I figured there might have been something that happened to her or she had some epiphany that, hey, you know what? I, I remember the guy that took care of me and he loved me and he had food for me. And I, I'm going to go back to that. And that's what basically the story is, is that Shay it's makes a love a story. It's a love story yeah. about a dog that's who decides that she wants to <coughs> be domesticated because she really wasn't domesticated. She was a wild thing. She was a little gypsy, wasn't she? She was a little gypsy, So yeah. uh, you write the book, and how's the response on it so far? Uh, well, I've actually, uh, it's been out about uh, six weeks officially, and I've uh, locally I've sold about 150 books nice. already. I've had book signings um, at uh, Whitey's Pets. Mm -hmm. The last two weekends I've sold like 20 books a weekend there and I sign books for you so if you like a book and you'd like me to sign it um, come by those events I post them on my Facebook page at Way of a Dog mm -hmm. and my Joe Osier page and um, I had an event at Peeves I have another one at Peeves I did a, a book signing at All Things Fresno and sold about 11 or 12 books there Great. And, I mean it's been really fun I have a I have a the, the Peeves event coming mm -hmm. up on Saturday. Buy a book, get a pint. Buy a book, get a pint. Right. And then um, on October 4th, um, I'm going to be, be uh, doing a reading at uh, Barnes & Noble from 11 to about 11.30 or so. And that's going to be a fun event. Cool. So bring your kids out and your family, <laughs> and I'm going to set up a little monitor. I'm going to read my story and show the panels from the story. And uh, then afterwards, uh, I'll be signing books. So come on by. Awesome. Now, you brought a download with you of Shay's Lounge I that did. you wanted to give away to a, a lucky viewer it's out there. It's right here. So Free call 579 1360 right now, and you can get a download of Shay's Lounge written by local author Joe Ozier. That's Thanks, me. Buddy. Thanks a lot for coming Thanks, on. Thanks, Chuck. It was great, I really great to finally it. meet you.